everyone and welcome back to the Fit Curls. My name is Angela. I'm a fitness professional and a curly hair enthusiast and I use this channel to teach you how to keep your curls in shape. So don't forget to click that subscribe button to officially join the Fit Curls family and hit the notification bell next to it so you don't miss a single video that I upload. Spring has sprung. I am so excited for warmer temperatures flowers blooming, things getting greener outside. And today we are going to be talking about what you'll need to do to change up your routine for spring. I'm going to walk you through my favorite spring routine for this year from wet to dry. Every single step of the process teaching you what I do and a few tips and tricks for a little extra volume and definition along the way. So if you're excited for this video, go ahead and hit it with a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. And without further ado, do, let's get styling. So as always, I'm starting my shower by cleansing, and today I'm using the Ren Pure Apple Cider Vinegar Clarify and Shine Shampoo. This is a nice, gentle, but powerful cleansing formula that clarifies without overly stripping my hair and scalp of necessary moisture and actually does a really nice job of refreshing and soothing my dry, itchy scalp on a regular basis. Now, as the name suggests, this is a clarifying wash, and I use this about once every two to three washes because I recently discovered that I have slightly higher mineral content in my municipal water supply than I did where I used to live before. So I'm clarifying a little more often to help prevent any mineral buildup. To replenish any lost moisture from clarifying, I follow this up with a deep conditioner and I've been loving the Eva NYC Therapy Session Hair Mask. As you can see, this is thick, k -k -k, multiple C's thick. It is a very creamy formula. And as you can see here, I'm applying it as thoroughly through each section of my hair as possible, especially that middle underside of the back of my head, which is an area I tend to miss with conditioners. Now, I particularly love this mask because the formula is fantastic for high porosity hair. It's got a decent concentration of hydrolyzed vegetable protein in it to help rebuild any structure I need in my curls, as well as tons of super moisturizing emollient ingredients. And it's really affordable. Like, 13 bucks for that entire giant pot. Now, as you can see here, I'm actually putting my hair into a couple of French rope braids. No worries. This is an optional step. I just do it to keep my hair out of my way as I finish showering so I can rinse everything off my body to prevent the dreaded back knee. So as you can see, I'm clipping it up here and I'm just going to let that sit for about 10 minutes. Immediately after rinsing out that mask, I'm going in with my leave-in. I'm using the Lust Brands All-in-One which is not just a leave-in conditioner, it's also a styler. I like that it has a degree of hold to it in and of itself, which means that it's gonna give my fine curls some lasting power once I layer it with the rest of my styling products. Now the all-in-one does have glycerin pretty high up on the ingredient list, but since I'm layering it with another hold product on top, I'm not terribly concerned about the effects of humidity. This is why we layer, kids. A little longer than a few minutes later. So while I was getting dressed, and like pretty and stuff. I've had my hair just up in that clip that I showed you in a shower cap to prevent as much water loss as possible from my hair because I am going to be styling my curls extremely wet today. So let's see what we're working with under here. All right, still nice and wet, but because I know I'm going to need to re-wet certain sections of my hair. I have my continuous mist spray bottle here with me and this I actually have filled with distilled water very specifically. I have had way more success using distilled water to re-wet my hair during the styling process than I ever did with tap water. I am already styling top down today because I want to maximize volume as well as definition. And the last time I did this, I got like the most incredible results. So I'm really excited to show that to you today. So I'm gonna start by taking a nice U-shaped section right at the top of my head, which also includes my new bangs. I'm gonna twist that to keep it out of the way and then put the rest up. I'm gonna take my continuous mist spray bottle and I'm gonna go ahead and re-wet this entire section here. Now this is because I do want to be able to form clumps and I also wanna make sure that I'm not substituting too much product 
in my hair for the hydration that it actually needs. And hydration only comes from water. Products give you moisture, which is what seals hydration in. But we need the water, especially anybody with wavier curls or bigger clumps. We need this stuff. So now that that section is nice and wet, I am going to go in with EcoSlay Orange Marmalade. I'm just going in with one kind of reasonable size pump to start with. If I feel like I need more, I will take more. I'm going to add just a little bit of extra water to my hand as I emulsify. And then we're going to rake this through before we style. So let's talk volume. Styling top down increases root volume from the get go, but there are a few things that you can do to pump it up even more. As you can see, I'm using the Denman brush to define my curls, but that's an optional step. If you want to just increase your volume and you're not too concerned with like super ringlety definition, just rake and squeeze with your fingers and scrunch from there. You can also, as you see me doing there, loosen the roots a little bit to increase the movement at the top and front of your head. And if you want to boost it even further, I highly recommend going in with a volumizing mousse or foam right at the roots. My favorites right now are the Curlsmith Bouncy Strength Volume Foam, which you might see a little bit later in this video, and the Evolve Insta Volume Mousse, which believe me, lives up to its name. Now you can also damp style as opposed to fully soaking wet styling like I'm doing here, which also encourages volume by creating smaller clumps. However, with the orange marble, Marmalade, I suggest following the directions on the bottle and doing it soaking wet because that's what's going to give you the best results according to the manufacturer and, you know, according to my own personal experience here. And even with this much water, I don't struggle with volume. Now that the product is all in, at least for this stage, I am going to microplop to get as much moisture as possible out of here. For this, I am actually going to be using kind of a makeshift tool here. This is a king size jersey t-shirt material pillowcase <laughs> and I have found that this works actually surprisingly well in a pinch and I don't have to deal with sleeves I don't have to deal with trying to wash all the product out of something that I'm going to maybe wear later uh so here's my solution if you are an experienced plumber and would prefer to do a full plop here feel free to. I find that with my extremely fine malleable curls, microplopping gives me more control over how my clumps set and mature. Because I have bangs and I want to control where they land, I'm going to start with this little alligator clip here that I've been using to section my hair. I'm going to make sure that my hair kind of falls where it wants to. And then, oh, I'm gonna look in the mirror for a hot second. I'm just gonna kinda insert this right at the front here to give me a little bit of root lift and to make sure that the bangs kinda stay exactly where I want them to on that side of my face. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side real quick. Before I start diffusing, I am going to do a little bit of root clipping. I find that this helps keep me from getting too much of a defined part at the back, which can lead to more flat roots. So I'm just gonna pull this up here and clip right in the middle. I'm using these little sectioning clips. Hair has been set where I want it, and now I'm going to start the process of drying. I am going to be hovering diffusing upside down and side to side just to kind of get my roots away from my scalp and start to set a cast. I'm starting on medium heat and full speed, aiming for the roots first and foremost, again, because we are all about that root volume. Now, as you may have noticed, that is the Dyson Supersonic, and I promise I will have a full review of the Supersonic dryer for you and whether it's worth your money very shortly and by that i mean literally as soon as i'm able to get around to it hello cast the process has kind of forced my curls to separate and uh slightly wonkify so here is where kind of my secret weapon comes in and it is the Smasters technique. Now, if you guys have not done Smasters or heard of Smasters before, it is the process of applying more product partway through your drying process. For me, I use it to reshape and kind of firm up my clumps, especially in any areas that have gotten 
weird. To add some more structure as well as just really nice lightweight hold and bounciness all over, I'm going to be using the Curl Smith Bouncy Strength Volume Foam. Give it a shake, pump a few pumps in, just like that. I'm going to emulsify it lightly between my hands and then I'm just going to glaze and kind of praying hands my way over my hair. Now, if at this point you're finding that the clumps aren't really reforming, that is what water is for, my friends. I'm gonna take a little bit of the water, spray it on my hands along with the product to really allow those clumps to reform. This master step is honestly completely optional. If you like the more separated look or you're not seeing any wonkiness or separation in your clumps, don't bother. I, however, have found that this step smooths down frizz and really does help me to reshape in particular my bangs, which I'm honestly really still getting used to. Now I'm going to resume the drying process by pixie diffusing. Which basically means scrunching with the diffuser, but only moving the diffuser itself when the dryer is completely off. This enhances the curls without causing extra frizz. If you wanna see me demonstrate that further, head to my diffusing technique video. I promise, I promise I really do go step by step in that one. And right now I'm just trying not to like force you to watch paint dry or, you know, hair dry. It's cause of care. Uh. Oh, hey, look, clothes. Hair is still in the cast. It is probably about 95% dry. And at this point I'm going to scrunch out the crunch. Now, you may have noticed that up until this point, every product that I have used in my styling routine has been silicone free. But there is one step that I never leave out silicones, and that is scrunching out the crunch and sealing my results. So for that, I'm going to be using something you guys have seen many a time before on this channel, which is the Wella Oil Reflections Light Luminous Reflective Oil. I love this stuff. This is my OG serum, and I'm probably gonna be using it until it's discontinued, which please, Wella, don't do that to me. So I'm gonna take just a couple of pumps, emulsify that as well as humanly possible in between my hands, and then to scrunch out the crunch, I'm gonna be doing a little bit less scrunching and a little bit more smoothing. Now, the reason I recommend sealing with silicones is that they do seal the cuticle without weighing it down or causing a greasy feeling like some oils can. Plus, they're particularly effective at fighting the spring humidity. So bye-bye flyaways and hello gorgeous. These are the final results of my go-to most consistent spring routine. I have found that these results last for days with minimal refreshing. They give me beautiful bouncy curls all over and the top-down technique gives me fabulous volume from the very start. What do you think? Now to illustrate how well these results from my routine last, as you can tell from the outfit and the makeup, this is a different day. I am on day three hair using my spring routine right now and I have been getting shiny, hydrated results like this from this routine time and time and time again. Now before I officially close out this video, I wanted to give you guys just the most heartfelt thanks for your response to and engagement with and kindness on my last video that I shared. Talking about mental illness and mental health is so important in today's climate and it is still one of the hardest things that we can do as human beings is just be open about what is going on with us that other people might not be able to see. So I am so, so grateful to all of you guys who took the time to watch my story and to tell me your own. I am so proud of this Fit Curls family that we have built here on YouTube. And I'm really excited to be able to be more open with you guys in the future. So please stay tuned on this channel for more open discussions about life and sanity, as well as curly hair. And with that, that's the end of the video. What did you guys think? Go ahead and leave a comment down below with any of your thoughts, opinions, and impressions on this video, as well 
as any of your favorite products and routines for spring. I always want to know. If you're interested in seeing more updated pictures and descriptions of my routines, little tweaks I make here and there, slightly different products that I switch in and out depending on the weather, head over to my Instagram. You can follow me at the Fit Curls there and join the Fit Curls family on both platforms. And of course, as always, every single product and tool that I use today are going to be linked in the description box below. So make sure to check those out if you're interested in picking up any of those things for yourself. If you haven't already and you did enjoy this video, hit it with a thumbs up. It really does do a whole lot to support the channel in the algorithm and boost this content so that other people can learn the same tips and tricks that I have taught you. And of course, if you're new here and you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell next to it to make sure that you don't miss a single Fit Curls video. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching this video and continuing to support the Fit Curls. Love your curls, love each other, and I will see you all next time. Bye.